half walk that bone with you. We ran out Yes, I've lost that bone. Right. This gives me the opportunity to come up. So either way, his grip, the gear, no problem. I grip on top, kick. Now I'm ready. Now I'm ready to come in here. Okay? Notice, I'm on top. Um, the whole weight bearing down on his thumb. He won't like that he tries to pull it off. Just pull it off. I can even bring my hand Bring my face down. It's not going to happen to us. I've got that arm. So even with that elbow, bring my face down, it's not going to happen, I've got that elbow, right? I can come up on that arm. So I've got a good structure here as well. Now, my hip digs under his hips. So at this point, I come in, send the hip under, keep the scape away. Now I'm in a good position. If he does put the hook in for the butterfly, sweet, I don't need to grab, I don't need to grab the head. So I get the point. Now I can adjust this here, straight up. Knee slice, slide on through. So you can make those adjustments as you see fit. He's done, you've swept him over. Okay, again, one more time. Different angle. So for the, for the advanced guys, you can play around a little bit, what if they do this, what if they do that. But structurally, this foot comes on top and I hit the bone right here. So when he moves around, I've actually given myself distance. Fingers on top, I come in, really push into him. He wants to push back on me, no dramas, I've got it here. Pushing in, now I can bring the hip in, hip escape out, he put the hook in, no problem. I don't commit forward with, with my body. As I come up, I'm good to go here, straight away. 